Bonjour, friendship ladies. Do you care about your appearance or do you look like you've given up altogether? In this video, I am going to show you the 10 style mistakes from the smallest to the worst that show that you've given up on your style. The first style mistake that shows that you've given up is never wearing any makeup at all. It really shows that like you don't really care about your appearance. You see, it's not only about how other people see you, but also, and that is very important, how do you see yourself? When you look at yourself in the mirror, how does your reflection make you feel? Does it make you smile and spin on the spot? Or does it make you scowl and walk away? Our appearance affects how we feel about ourselves. So, does it make us feel beautiful and feminine? Or does it make us feel ugly, shabby, old, tired? I have the simple solution for you. The French no makeup makeup look. And this is a makeup look that French women always do. You don't have to spend two hours putting on your makeup. And you don't have to use tons of makeup. Anyway, who has the time for this? First thing to do is apply some moisturizer and maybe add a little bit of BB cream or concealer with it, just a pea size. So put it all over your face so that it harmonizes visually your skin. And this will have the effect of making you look younger and more refreshed. Next, apply some lipstick or lip gloss or satin lipstick that will bring color to your face. As a matter of fact, if there is one thing that you will do that will make the most difference to your face is the lipstick. The second style mistake that shows that you've given up is wearing ripped or distressed clothing. What could be worse to anybody's look than wearing ripped jeans or ripped sweaters? This makes me distressed. Wearing ripped clothing looks like you have given up on yourself. It looks like you don't care about how you look, but also that you don't care about your clothes. It shows that you don't care about yourself and your belongings. How you care about your belongings is a reflection of how you care for yourself. So my simple solution is of course to wear clothes that are in a good state of repair. A third style mistake that makes you look like you've given up is wearing shapeless clothes. So shapeless clothing could be wearing sweatshirts or loose t-shirts or large duck pants, anything really that hides your shape. And this will make you look like you've given up on your style. Will make you look like you don't want to show off your silhouette. And it will make you look like a workman. No offense to workmen out there, but really this is not a look for us ladies. And I have a question for you. When you look at yourself in a mirror, in your shapeless clothes, what do you see and how does it make you feel? I am letting you think on that. My simple solution is to wear clothes that are shaped in at the waistline, that are tailored to show your feminine figure. It's to wear belts. It's to wear trousers with a proper waistband, not an elasticated waistband. A next style mistakes that make you look like you've given up is wearing trainers, sneakers or gym shoes with absolutely everything. I have never seen such a prevalence of sneakers and gym shoes look as now. Wear tailored trousers, wear sneakers. Wear jog pants, wear sneakers. Wear jeans, wear sneakers. Wear short micro midi maxi skirts, wear sneakers. Wear long coat, wear sneakers. Everything with sneakers ad nauseam. It makes me think that people only own trainers and don't own any other sort of footwear at all. I do wear sneakers as well, but I wear my other shoes much more than I wear sneakers. I wear loafers, I wear ankle boots, knee-high boots, I wear my ballet flats, I wear my Mary Janes, my brogues. I have many styles of shoes, not just sneakers. I know that many women say that they wear sneakers or gym shoes because they are comfortable. Once you are comfortable with those trainers, when you want to wear normal shoes, 
they will be much more, much more restrictive to your foot. And this is why you will not find them comfortable. So think about that for a little bit. And the thing, of course, is when you wear trainers with everything, without thought, it makes you look like you've given up. My simple solution for you is to wear, of course, other style of footwear regularly. That will make you look chic. And the next time mistake that makes you look like you've given up on your style is wearing long, loose, shapeless dresses. This type of dress is usually seen in warm and hot season and usually worn with the ugliest sandals you have ever set eyes on. They're usually black and usually with thick straps across your feet. I think this look really ages the wearer. It has absolutely no shape. There is absolutely no, no desire to look stylish or feminine. When you look at the reflection, what do you think you see? Probably nothing that makes you smile or want to say, yay! No thought has gone into the design. And therefore, no thought has gone into the outfit. It really looks like you have given up on style. I know you can do better. So my simple solution for you is to wear brighter colors, to wear belt, to shorten your hemline, because a maxi or a midi length can tend to make us look older, especially over a certain age, and it can make us look frumpy. So raise your hemline a little bit higher, maybe around the knee area, and also wear nicer shoes, nicer sandals even, or maybe with a heel. And of course, all these solutions are comfortable. Comfort does not have to be ugly. Our next time mistake that makes you look like you've given up is wearing sportswear all day long. You're not kidding anybody here. We all know that you never go to the gym. So stop dressing like you're off to work out with your personal trainer. It makes me think about why people will want to dress in sportswear all day long. Is it for comfort? Well, ask yourself, is wearing a pair of jeans not comfortable? What about a sweater instead of a sweatshirt? What about a lovely knitted top instead of a t-shirt? What about tailored trousers instead of the sweatpants? And please don't tell me that all the examples I've just given you are not comfortable. Comfort has become an enemy of style. I am wearing this sweater. Do you think it is less comfortable than a hoodie? This comfortable, beautiful, soft sweater makes me look chic and makes me look like I care about how I look and about myself. Next, I understand mistakes that make you look like you've given up. It is wearing leggings. You know that I am no fan of leggings. Leggings to me are really a piece of clothing that make you look like you've given up. Do not want to make any effort. Let's be honest. They do absolutely nothing to the wearer. They show off your body parts that really, if you are a chic and elegant person, you don't want to show. Many people advise to wear leggings under a long tunic. Well, if you're going to do that, why not wear a pair of tights? Why not wear tailored trousers or jeans? It is lazy dressing. Really, you have given up on yourself. My simple solution for you. Instead of your t-shirt, legging, trainers outfit, wear a sweater with a pair of jeans and a pair of loafers. Ten times more chic. And next time mistake that makes you look like you've given up is to wear a loose top over a elasticated waistband trousers. And this is usually the outfit I use for my frumpy to chic videos. And this is the frumpy example. The problem with this outfit is that there is no thought to create an outfit that flatters your silhouette. The top is just worn over the trousers. It ends usually at your widest point, which is the hips, and bring attention to your tummy area. So this is not flattering. And do not make your feminine body stand out and flatter you. My simple solution for you is to tuck or half tuck your top, either at the front 
or to one side or the other so that it creates a kind of a of an oval if you like or a diagonal and that will slimline your your upper body also switch from elasticated waistband to a rigid waistband that will hold you in much better and that will make you look chic and also it will make you look like at least you have tried to look so much better and you will look better and the next time mistake that will make you look like you've given up is to ignore all style advice out there and go with the i wear what i want really there's nothing wrong per se in wearing what you want at the end of the day we always wear what we want but it comes because usually good style advice is ignored and this is when things start to go wrong and what does a style look like it looks like a mishmash of styles a mishmash of prints colors cuts detailing that absolutely do nothing for you really it looks like you've given up because what do you feel when you look at yourself in the mirror with wearing what you want style is art and art is intelligent design so put some thought in your outfit the best advice i could give you as a stylist is to wear what you love what suits you what fits you to follow the three pillars of french chic which are less is more keep it simple and quality not quantity and of course to wear according to your body shape et voilà you can't go far wrong with this advice a worst style mistake that show that you've given up is pajamas staying all day in pajamas now that would make you look not only that you've given up but make you look lazy wear proper clothes instead if you enjoyed this video you love this one